Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanHunter.com and in this video we are going to have a look on the camera features and functionality of Lumia 640 XL smartphone. So here we are having our Lumia 640 XL smartphone. First of all, let me tell you uh, that before Lumia 640 XL, uh, all of the Lumia devices uh, came with two camera applications. The first one was the Microsoft camera and the another one was Lumia camera. So you could select which one you want to use, but in this one for Lumia 640 XL, it comes by default with Lumia camera. So there is no more Microsoft camera. So you are going to use the Lumia camera application only, which is this. So first of all, uh, I'm telling you about the camera that it comes with a 13 megapixel camera, which, which is having Z lens, as you can see here, the branding and all. Uh, on the front side, we're having 5 megapixel front facing camera here and the Lumia camera is the latest version the Windows Phone 8.1 OS is the latest version so you are going to get all the latest features and functionality in the camera so let's have a look on it here is our Lumia 640 XL and this one is the Lumia camera application so uh, Lumia camera comes with lots of um, manual functions and functionality for example if you want to uh, change the brightness or everything manually so what you have to do just tap and slide it like this and all the manual features will manual function uh, functionality will come here for example the brightness the iso uh, the focus the uh, shooting modes and also for example if i have to change the brightness all i have to do is just do like this and you can see the brightness is changing on a screen live here and you can use it according to your choice then here is the ISO you can see it's changing then there is the option for sh uh, shutter speed you can manually select the speed for which you want to take the picture so it is pretty good if you want to take some long exposure picture or some quick ones then here is the uh, manual focus which is really very nice if you are so much into photography and you want to take the perfect shot this feature is going to be a really good one for you and then there is the shooting mode options here you can select the cloudy the brightness and the like sunshine uh, thundering and all whatever so these are the manual controls so but if you if uh, it looks kind of messy for you for example all of the features coming directly on the screen so what you can do just remove uh, to remove them you can do like this and here you will find another menu which you can access so what we have to do just tap on this arrow icon here and once again it will show all the features all the functionality which was uh, which were appearing early earlier you will find here as well for brightness uh, shutter speed iso so you can manually just get one on the screen at a time if you want just tap on this and brightness and all so this is the thing here you can turn on the flash here is the one for the front camera and it comes with rich capture functionality which is really a good one so what rich capture exactly does first of all you have to shorten this menu and then the rich capture option will come if you look at this magic wand so just tap on it and the rich capture is on so what rich capture exactly does that it takes a picture uh, multiple picture at a time and you can manually adjust the exposure the brightness and the HDR effect after taking the picture so it's a very useful feature let me show you an example of this um, for example here I'm having an, another phone just to give you an idea uh, so for example this is my another phone here as you can see and I'm going to take a picture of it so just tapping on it and I'm turning on I'm turning the flash off so a rich capture automatically de de detects uh, what is the best shooting mode for a picture and then it takes the picture for so let me take the picture first of all and then I will show you okay so the picture is taken now if you go to the camera roll from here 
here is the picture which I have taken you can see that it, it is still processing because uh, root capture images are multiple images at the very same time in multiple exposure level multiple brightness level so uh, now the processing is finished and the image is ready as you can see here if you tap on it here the option comes edit rich capture so just tap on it once again and now you can see the options there are four options for SDR so this picture is taken in SDR mode sometimes the possibility is it will use the flash and then you will have the four option for flash and sometimes like it's, it's brightness so it totally depends as I have said the rich capture decides what is the best uh, mode and method to take the picture so right now it's SDR mode and you can see our previous uh, video in which we have shown the all the features and functionality of uh, the rich capture option in the Lumia camera so you will get the better idea you will see all of the examples in this video you can just click on the link up here on the screen and you can see this so here is the natural artistic uh, no SDR and then there is a customize if you tap on customize you can select the SDR level manually just by moving the slider you can see the image is changing the SDR level is changing just by tapping on the screen so the rich capture feature is really very nice and let's have a look on the rest of the features by going to the settings here is the video mode as you can see here there is camera option once again there are a few manual features which you can use that's the scene mode then there is the focus and brightness there is no ISO and um, the shutter speed option available for the shooting mode and just tap on it and one more thing if you want to take the images uh, video you can use the camera key as well but you will find this option in settings so let's go to the setting and let's have a look on all the options available here are the applications which can be used along with the Lumia camera uh, these are Lumia selfie Lumia refocus lenses actually these applications are not installed right now so if you if you tap on any of these it will direct to uh, to the app store app uh, store where you can download this application and use so uh, there are lots of uh, application which can be integrated with Lumia camera it's really very nice so here is the timer application you can see that it's it's the usual timer there are two options you can select the delay uh, time whether you want it two seconds five seconds or ten seconds and whatever you are selecting there is the option that whether you want photos to be taken continuously after each uh, of those time interval so it's up to you to decide then if you go to the bracketing here is uh, an interesting feature once again uh, it takes multiple images at different exposure level you can select how many pictures you want whether three or five and then here is the exposure uh, range whether you want it from uh, minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 or minus 1 to plus 1 or minus 2 to plus 2 so you can select 5 and then the option will change to minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 as well so it's up to you uh, in how many different exposure level you want your picture to be taken so and here is the option camera key and press that's what I was telling you it's already on video so even uh, if you are not on the camera mode if you just tap on the uh, shutter key on the picture mode it will start taking the picture or you can select the photo burst in that scenario it will start taking the burst uh, images uh, multiple images at the very same time for a very small period of time and you can let you select any of these images or you can just disable it that means if you just long press on the camera key it won't do any task at all so and here is the framing grids if you are uh, an expert in photography or you want your picture to be precise then you can use any of these framing grids for example golden ratio crosshair if I select the rule of third and go to the camera application you can see now there are lines there are grids uh, you can change it once again whatever you want for example now select the golden ratio and go back and you will find the golden ratio that it's just two lines crossing each other so and then if you go to the photo option just tap on it and you will find here 
that there are three options. One is the aspect ratio, whether you can select 4 is to 3 or 16 is to 9. Uh, like this. Or, uh, and then there is a, an option for living images. What living images does exactly in Lumia camera is that it takes like uh, uh, one or two seconds of video before taking the picture. And you can see these uh, living images only in the camera roll. So if you go to the photo application of the phone of Lumia 640 XL, you won't find uh, the living images. You will see only the image. But if you want to see these living images, you have to open the Lumia camera and then you have to go to the camera roll. Right now, I will give you a demo of it. And then there's a focus light. You can select whether you want it to be off or use the flash setting uh, manually or the automatic. So let me show you the example of living images first of all. So I'm going to take uh, a living image right now. So I'm just taking a picture and moving my camera like this. Now the image is processing as you can see. So you can see it's uh, it's like a video. Or let me show you once again by moving my camera faster this time. So okay. And now let me show you the picture once again. See, now you can see it just moved. So it takes a very small image, like uh, for one second or something, as, as uh, a movie. See, and then it... So that's what the living images does. It will take a very small video and then a snap. So this one is... A good feature as well but the only drawback is you can access it only in the camera or not in the photo application and if you go to the uh, settings then video you will find uh, the multiple uh, resolution for video recording you can select at what to frame rate and at what resolution you want it's right now it's in 1080p and that's all here you will find the information and all so this is all about the Lumia camera in Microsoft 640 Excel and you can have a look on few of the picture samples which we have taken earlier let's go to the photo application instead of the camera roll to quickly access all of these pictures so uh, here is an example of bright daylight image you can see here you can see the quality it's really very nice 30 megapixel camera it's really very nice uh, so if you zoom it, still the quality is very good, you can see, but sometimes it lacks the detail. For example, uh, I focused on the tire while taking this picture, so it's really very nice, but just after the tire you can see it's not having that much clarity and details on the ground and on all the stones. So. But overall, the image quality is really, very nice. It's so bright and beautiful. You can see here. Let me show you an image for low lying, uh, low light capability. You can see for this was for the barbecue night, and the image came out very sharp. It's it's not looking that much clearer on the screen. Uh, while recording this but it's so nice because it was totally dark and this is one of the picture which I have taken at the dawn it was like um, just uh, uh, 4 a.m. or something and still the picture is pretty good you can see the trees here and even if you zoom it like depending on the uh, light I had uh, at that time the picture came really very nice so and you can also see uh, our previous video which we have posted you for the front facing camera quality so uh, you will get the better idea that how good it's going to be using this uh, Lumia 640 XL camera so that thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands-on reviews like this have a nice day